so dear yes, uh, next topic is esophagitis from gastro we are going to learn about something called esophagitis from the word only inflammation of what esophagus uh, remember if someone have esophagus he is going to have odynophagia odyno means painful swallowing along with what dysphagia here also we do for diagnosing endo and biopsy to rule out so according to the reason we will manage them there are many reasons you were mnemonics for the lifetime p's p for it can be due to pill induced pill induced reason it can be due to what infections can be due to ha uh, eosinophilic esophagitis can be due to caustic reasons like alcohol it can be due to uh, ge like we already discussed here gastroesophageal reflex disease right or we'll be discussing it so pill induced what are the main pills that will cause it can be caused by nsaid can be caused by tetracycline can be caused by biphosphonates can be caused by anti hiv drug heart therapy heart all these can cause it so once you have it stop the drug right remove the drug that's what the treatment here also we do what endo and biopsy then next one very important that is a infection can be caused by candida that is like white deposition it can be caused by herpes simplex virus herpes simplex it can be caused by cmv that is cytomegalo it can be caused by uh, main infections are candida candida you can see in aids people or hiv people and all or any immune deficiency occur you can have candida infection white about herpes simplex what you have to know they will cause you oral ulcer and what type of ulcer ah uh, there is they look like a punctured out lesion buzzword in the exam buzzword or they will give you in the exam to look like a well circumscribed well circumscribed looking like looking like like volcano volcano something like well circumscribed punctured out then then we have cytomegalovirus in cytomegalovirus what also you will have longitudinal longitudinal or we call it as uh, linear ulcer cmv ulcer is linear then remember like cyto cmv normally they will give you the exam someone have outside appearance and all outside appearance then so that's about uh esophagitis because of infection remember cmv is very common in people who undergo something transplantation in transplanted uh oh, patients you can expect what infection cytomegalovirus infection now how you treat uh, candida anti fungal you can give nystatin or fluconazole that will be given orally mainly fluconazole for herpes acyclovir we can give or gan cyclovir for cytomegalovirus ah uh, again gan cyclovir right so antiviral drugs can be what 
used. This also we will do a diagnosis and biopsy by endo and biopsy. We can come to the answer. Next one is about eosinophilic. Of course, it is because of allergy. Patient who are having history of asthma and all. Remember IgE. You will see around eosinophils more than 15. More than 15 HPF unit. Then it can also come as this uh, eosinophilic as a complication of what GERD, complication of gastroesophageal reflex disease that can cause you what esophagitis. So you can give PPI proton pump inhibitor for one week or two to three weeks and to suppress the eosinophil. I can also give what inhaled steroids inhaled steroids so that's all about esophagitis because of pill induced infections eosinophilic next one is about caustic very important like caustic means because of chemical patient taking chemicals like alkali or acid remember in children it can be an accident in adults someone want to live anymore they want to suicide can be the reason so they will cause burns burns in what larynx and all you will have hoarseness of voice hoarseness of voice if esophagus is affected you will have drooling and all drooling sound or strider you can hear now if the burn caused by this caustic someone accidentally or suicidal drink and if it is not it's not a major minor they can like orally fed orally you can feed them no issue but if it is a major one NPO4 72 hours and PO4 72 hours don't give anything through what uh, orally you can only give something IV now treatment is we'll do yeah gastric lavage that is a stomach wash mainly to will give enough water to decrease the concentration or the effect of what the chemical happened here right remember a very important point here never neutralize don't make acid or base reaction if someone take acid don't give base if someone take base don't take acid because we are making a reaction inside like a lab it will make the patient more complicated there will can cause a thermophilic burn to the patient again maybe it can kill the patient or make more uh, complication so never neutralize common people say you drink acid right take alkali if someone take alkali take give acid it's not a correct method right and along with that some question they will give you like patient drink kerosene or petrol or something right common people say vomit vomit no you can see if i take some chemical it is burning my one that layer of esophagus one time if i do reverse coming back again i am making more burn both side or more area so one more point never neutralize and never induce what vomiting never induce vomiting in the patient it's a very important thing that we have to remember so that's all about esophagitis inflammation remember the piece and come to the answer here also endoscopy and biopsy find the reason if the pills stop it infection treat it eosinophilic already told suppress the eosinophils right and caustic like manage it according to the scenario thank you